but you're also a writer, a writer at heart. Yes. What's your favorite song you've ever written? Ooh. My favorite song I've ever written. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 songs you didn't know were written by Ryan Tedder. But your ghost, the ghost of it, keeps me away. For this list, we'll be looking at the best tracks that were penned by the One Republic frontman. We're considering anything on which he's credited as a co-writer. Which of these songs is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Neon Lights, Demi Lovato This electro-pop tune from Lovato's Demi album is well known for being one of her more upbeat, energetic releases. Be still my heart, cause it's freaking now, it's freaking now, right now. But not everyone is aware that it was penned by a total of five people, or that Ryan Tedder was one of the writers involved. He himself dubbed it a, quote, fun dance record, and we could not agree more. Baby, when they look up at the sky, we'll be shooting stars just passing by. Neon Lights is filled to the brim with an electric vitality, which is superbly complemented by the singer's captivating vocals. Each lyric elevates the beat, bringing the party to the listener in the process. You're all I see. Just remember that Tedder is one of the names we have to thank for that synergy. Number 9. He Said, She Said, Ashley Tisdale The notion of Ryan Tedder and Disney Channel darling Ashley Tisdale collaborating might seem unconventional at first glance. But the most unlikely pairings can produce unexpectedly great results, and He Said, She Said is proof of that. Tedder and his co-writers skillfully embodied the singer's persona, forging a record that's infectious and rich in style. Their work fits effortlessly with her snappy performance, and what we get is a tune that feels like it's distinctly Ashley Tisdale. We're not listening to her The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody or High School Musical characters. Instead, we get a glimpse at her own unique musical identity, and what a fun identity it is. Number 8. Happier, Ed Sheeran This 2017 track came from the minds of Benny Blanco, Ed Sheeran himself, and yes, the one and only Ryan Tedder. So you walk inside a bar We'd say this is one great writing trio, because Happier is a deeply powerful piece of music. With a melodious sound, it takes us through the singer's painful realization that he and an ex simply aren't meant to be together. Nobody hurt you like I hurt you. So many songs focus on the anger that comes with heartbreak, but here, Sheeran leans into the acceptance and perspective that distance can give us. There's an honesty imbued into the record that we imagine couldn't have been easy for the three writers to channel, but they more than nailed it. Baby, you look happier, you do. Number 7. Welcome to New York, Taylor Swift Individually, Taylor Swift and Ryan Tedder are top-notch songwriters. Together, they're unstoppable. Walking through a crowd, the village is a glow. Indeed, they co-wrote two tracks for Swift's 1989 album. One of them was the addictive I Know Places, but we want to talk about the other, Welcome to New York. We're not sure how it took us so long to realize they penned it together, but we're obsessed. It started with a voice memo Swift, who had recently relocated to the titular city, sent to the One Republic frontman. Everybody here was someone else before. The rest is 80s synth pop history. The lively tune transports listeners to the Big Apple, capturing its magnetic essence. New York is known to inspire great songs, and this one takes us on the trip of a lifetime. Number 6. Sucker, Jonas Brothers When the Jonas Brothers announced that they were reuniting in 2019, we were ecstatic. So when they released Sucker, their first single since that infamous 2013 breakup, we forgot to check who was responsible for penning it. Sure enough, the group of songwriters includes Ryan Tedder. 
Creating a track special enough to mark a boy band's comeback isn't an easy task, but he and the rest of the team did not disappoint, perfecting every detail and giving fans a lot to celebrate and jam to. They created a fresh, grown-up Jonas sound that still has the spark we fell in love with back at the start of the brothers' career. Needless to say, we're suckers for sucker. Sucker for you. Number 5. Battlefield – Jordan Sparks Why does love always feel like a battlefield? Jordan Sparks posed that question back in 2009 through this aptly titled R&B track, and she got millions to wonder alongside her. Why is it the smallest things that tear us down? Of course, behind her mesmerizing vocals and heartbreaking delivery were those who crafted the song. In this case, Ryan Tedder was among that oft-forgotten group of people. He and fellow writers Louis Bianconello, Sam Waters, and Wayne Wilkins put words and music to a feeling, spotlighting the combative dynamic that can creep into relationships. I never meant to start a war. You know I never wanna hurt you. They found a way to mix vulnerability and power, giving the ballad the balance it needs to grab us creating a riveting listening experience. That's one creative battle we're glad they won. What is love we feel like? Number 4. Already Gone – Kelly Clarkson The third single from Clarkson's All I Ever Wanted album, Already Gone is a rousing tune about a breakup. We were never meant for two or two. The singer herself co-wrote it, but did you know that she teamed up with Tedder to do so? The result is everything you'd want from a Kelly Clarkson ballad. It's affecting, has an evocative melody, and is perfect to belt along to. But while the relationship in the song comes to an end on bittersweet but good terms, the record was plagued by drama. Clarkson felt that Tedder had recycled the backing track from another one of his works, Beyonce's Halo. He denied the claim, but the ordeal got rather tense. Controversy aside, there's no denying Already Gone is a great number in its own right. Number 3. Bleeding Love – Leona Lewis When you think of Bleeding Love, you probably instantly think of the woman who sang it so beautifully, Leona Lewis. Closed off from love, I didn't need the pain. But we're betting the names Jesse McCartney and Ryan Tedder don't immediately come to mind. Well, they should, as they're the writing duo responsible for creating the tune. It was originally meant for McCartney, but his label passed. As fate would have it, though, it ended up being exactly what Leona Lewis's very first studio album needed. And it's A few tweaks later, it was hers to absolutely master. Prince's music had a major influence on the track, and we'd say Tedder and McCartney found the recipe for success with that organ and those stirring lyrics. It's not one of Lewis's most beloved songs for nothing. Keep it, keep it, keep it Number 2. Halo – Beyonce What do you do when you're recovering from an injury? If you're Ryan Tedder, you call up your pal E Kid Bogart and make a record. Remember those walls I built? Well, baby, they're down. Few people know this, but that's how Queen Bee's angelic hit Halo came to be. Tedder and Bogart got together, and after three very productive hours, the heavenly love song had taken shape. Hit me like a ray of sun, burning through my dark Co-writer Beyoncé then put her touch on it, and a hit was born. The track's story is so fleshed out both lyrically and musically that it feels like it could have taken months to conceptualize. But Tedder clearly has a gift. It seems Beyoncé was a fan, because she teamed up with him again for EXO a few years later. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Burn, Ellie Goulding. When Ryan Tedder's on the writing team, you know he's gonna bring the fire. And we're gonna let it burn, 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 burn. We're gonna let it burn, burn, burn. Faith, Stevie Wonder featuring Ariana Grande. We'll always have faith in Tedder's writing abilities. I got faith in you, baby. I got faith in you now. 
Reach Out, Hilary Duff. Tedder was one of four songwriters who gave us this sultry tune. Not Over You, Gavin DeGraw. We're still not over this impeccably written record. No matter what I say, I'm not over you. Love Somebody, Maroon 5. We love what Ryan Tedder and his collaborators created with this song. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Rumor Has It – Adele Rumors can be nasty things, especially when your friends start to buy into them. She ain't real. But leave it to Adele to take something negative and use it as fuel to create an insanely catchy single. And it turns out that her co-writer was none other than Ryan Tedder. Together, they constructed this blues-infused number with an all-consuming rhythm and lyrics that never falter. She is half your age, but I'm guessing that's the reason that you stayed. Now, Tedder has penned a lot of songs for a lot of different artists. But he once called Rumor Has It his favorite, because not only was it penned quickly, but Adele only needed one take to slay the recording. Rumor has it we're in love with that anecdote and the tune itself. Okay, that's not a rumor, it's a fact. Rumor has it, rumor has it, rumor has it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.